So here are the materials you're going to need for this chunk holder. A couple of building blocks, these can be any type you want. Two hopper minecarts and six furnace minecarts. And if we press F3 and G, it will show us the chunk border. Okay, so the chunk holder will load the chunk that it's built in and a three by three area around it. So choose the location. I'm gonna build it here. And first thing, let's build a simple nether portal. Just a regular nether portal, like so. They got some blocks beneath it. Dispenser, like so, facing upwards. Go behind, one hopper going into that dispenser, and another hopper going into that hopper. Right now, we can block off the back side of the portal. Get your redstone torch, place it on the dispenser. Place a block above it, and two blocks right there. Place a block here, and two detector rails right there. Now place a minecart hopper there, so it goes inside that portal. Now take a furnace minecart, place it on the same rail, and let the furnace minecart push the hopper minecart inside of the portal. Now break the furnace minecart and break these rails right there and also this block. Now take those same rails, place them in the same way, right there. And again, do the same thing, place hopper minecart, then a furnace minecart, let it push it in and destroy the furnace minecart. Now take one slab, place it on top of this rail and destroy this rail right here. Now light your nether portal and go inside the nether. Okay. Now go back into the overworld and take a furnace minecart, place it on the rail, and you can see it will go into the nether. Now go into the nether and you want to look at where this furnace minecart has spawned and make sure that on both sides you have netherrack. You might already have netherrack here. I'm just in a different biome. So I'm going to place netherrack right there. And you want to light both sides like so. Light up both sides like so. And now go back into the overworld. Come over here. Break this block and place five furnace minecarts in this dispenser, like so. And now let's take a lever, place it on this block. And now your chunk holder is done. All you need to do is place your remaining furnace minecart on the rail. And there we go, it's working. Now this lever is for turning the chunk holder on and off. So right now it's set to on, so it's working. If you want to turn it off, just flick the lever and there we go, it stopped. So if you do stop it, the furnace minecart will just go back into this dispenser and when you want to turn it back on, just take it out, flick the lever and place it. There we go. There you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and see you in the next one.